Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Epoxy and here in this video I'll be showing you how to install Reshade 1.1 and this is a legacy download and the reason why I'm not using the latest version I will be telling you in just a moment. However, I will also be showing you how to install ENB series version 0.291 for Fallout 4 and I will also be showing you how to install Sugar Bloom 2, ENB and Reshade by Oh Dear and Looping which is a pretty nice looking ENB for cinematic purposes which is what I wanted for and it's pretty simple to install and download however the reason why I'm doing the framework version 1.1 is because that is the version that this mod requires or this ENB because that is the reshade framework that it's based off of and the latest version is a little bit different and it will give you a ton of error codes and a bunch of problems and will not work properly if you're using the latest version of reshade. So anyways, let's go ahead and download all these by clicking on our download pages here and we can download the reshade 1.1 and save it to our desktop. Let's go ahead and go to the ENB series and download that. Save it right to our desktop and download the Sugar Bloom 2 from the Nexus. We can save it to our desktop once again and now we can go ahead and minimize that. What we want to do now is go to our Fallout 4 directory that has the executable files and we can do this simply by going to Steam, going right click on Fallout 4, Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files, and this will open up this directory right here for Fallout 4. And this is the directory that we need to put all of our files in. Something else to note is that we will need 7-zip or WinRAR to extract our archives for reshade for ENB series for Fallout 4 and our Sugar Bloom mod as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and begin with our extractions of Reshade. And we can extract it to a brand new folder and we'll be doing the same for all of these as well. So let's go ahead and quickly extract all these right onto our desktop in their brand new folders. Let's start off with Reshade and this is where you should be beginning as well. And here is where we need to quickly do something and that is choose either 32 or 64 and this totally depends on what your configuration or your PC configuration is. So if you need to figure this out what version you're using 32 bit or 64 bit you can simply just go to your search taskbar and type in system and you can do system control panel and it will show you right here at system type 64 bit or 32 bit I'm running a 64 bit so this means I'll be using the 64 bit. What I want to do from here is simply rename this to DXGI and that will make it so that it uses that file rather than the 32. And if you're using the 32, you would do the same step and leave the 64 by itself. Let's go ahead and copy and paste all of these files into here. It will not ask you to replace these files. It's just simply because I forgot to delete some of these files before doing this tutorial. And then once we've done that, that is the installation for Reshade. We can go ahead and close that and open up our ENB series. We want to go ahead and install the wrapper version of ENB series and we can do this by simply just opening up the wrapper version from what we downloaded, copy and paste everything from there and paste it in. Once again, it will not normally ask you to overwrite anything, it's just because I left over some files. And lastly, we're going to copy over our actual ENB and reshade files from Sugar Bloom 2. Now you do not have to use this ENB and this specific reshade, you can use whatever you want and it should be the same installation. And it should already be set up correctly if the mod author have the courtesy of setting it up properly for just kind of the casual installers of these mods. So anyways, thankfully for Sugar Bloom 2, we have everything set up correctly. We can just simply copy and paste all these files. Once again, it might or may not ask you to replace some files. In this case, I do actually have to replace some files because it's replacing some of the original reshade and also ENB files so it will ask you in most cases when you're installing the ENB or reshade it will actually ask you to replace the original reshade or ENB files so we can go ahead and close that now and we can go ahead and launch our game to see whether it is working correctly and normally with installing reshade and ENB it will make the game take a little bit longer to load up but in the end it's definitely worth it and as we can see all the text at the top left shows up for ENB series and reshade and we can see that the graphical style of the game itself and the menu itself changed so that lets us know that it's working correctly let's go ahead and actually just load up a save 
so that we can see what this ENB looks like. I've never seen this on my game before. I've seen it in some gameplay and some showcases, but I've never actually used it myself before. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. All right, so we can see that it looks pretty, pretty awesome. It looks like I've got some trippy stuff going on. I'm not sure whether that's a part of the ENB. I'm assuming it is, but I've never seen that done before. I guess it's, I don't know, I, I like the effect. I've never actually seen that effect done before. So anyways, that is how you install Reshade and ENB series for Fallout 4. And it's actually not giving me that bad of a performance hit. It's giving me a few FPS drop. If I go ahead and look up here, you can see that it's dropping me to about 57, 56 with my shadow boost fix and everything like that. And that's actually pretty good. Normally, without doing any fixes, just vanilla straight up game, I would get 33 FPS here. But after the V-Sync fix, I will then get about 49-ish FPS. With Shadow Boost, I will then get about 58 to 60 FPS when I look at this place. So, it's barely dropping any FPS for me whatsoever. And it's giving me quite a few effects that are pretty cool to play with. And definitely really good for cinematics. And it's only dropping, I would say, max about 5 FPS, depending on where I'm looking and what effects are displaying at the current time. So, for example, if I go ahead and get all the depth of field, the lens flares and everything to pop up, it'll bring me down to sometimes 53 FPS or so. But in the end, it's not really that performance heavy, and this is definitely a playable FPS, especially with an ENB on. And you can see that this ENB can definitely be bright in some situations. But it's more of a cinematic ENB, it's not something you should really be playing with. So if we drop this Mighty Flamer, and then we go ahead and enable some of our commands that we have here, we can do this by simply using some of my hotkeys that I have. And we go ahead and, let's say, turn our FOV to 70. And let's turn our mode here in just a second to a little bit of a slower camera. So let's get where we want, and then we can go ahead and turn our slower camera on. And from here, we can see that the camera moves a lot slower. And honestly, this is such a nice ENB for cinematics. I have absolutely no texture mods on or anything like that. I'm sure you can tell from the uh, actual ground itself. But this looks really nice. And I gotta say, this ENB will make my video so much nicer in so many ways and let me know down in the comments section below do you like this ENB for example for things like mod showcases and stuff like that I have no mods installed currently right now and this is the state that it looks like with the reshade and ENB on and I gotta say it looks absolutely fantastic I can't even imagine what it will look like with high resolution textures and just a complete overhaul of the game itself and I'm pretty excited to be using this ENB I'm not sure what this new effect is I kinda like it though so, I guess, I guess that's that. However, that is actually it for this follow for modding guide. Hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight if you haven't already. It would be super greatly appreciated. In addition, check out SugarBomb.com, the beautiful forum website for all Bethesda fans. There's even a section to talk to Mr. Matty Plays, Fudge Muppet, myself, and more if that's something you're interested in. So anyways, until next time. This is Epoxy, signing off.